There are a lot of reasons why individuals want to speak English fluently. And one of the reasons is that they purposely want to communicate with English native speakers easily. Easily means that the native speakers of English understand them and vice versa. Yet, the fact shows that many of those individuals still find it hard to achieve. They say that they are too embarrassed, they are too shy, they are too confused when speaking English. They also claim that they have bad pronunciation. They make a lot of, let's say, grammar mistakes. They feel frustrated for being unable to understand native speakers. And they're also angry that after studying so many years, they still cannot speak English easily. Most of them who have studied English for years never feel relaxed, never feel confident to speak English. In Azerbaijan, the students who happen to study English, who have experienced a bunch of English teaching methods since, you know, English was first introduced to their classes. And one, and I can say that the most popular method of teaching English that has been applied until today is the grammar translation method. As we know that such method has the major focus on mastering reading and writing skills. It has a little or no systemic attention to listening and speaking. And we know that the spoken English is not the same as written or textbook English. But unfortunately, this is the fact that the very few students understand this fact. They simply do not realize that the English they learn in schools is not the English that the native speakers use in their normal or day-to-day -day conversations. To be honest, you know, I have no idea why schools neglect real spoken English. Why do they teach only formal English? Why don't they prepare their students for the real world? Or let's put it this way. What is wrong with our present teaching method that prevents students from easily and fluently communicating with native speakers? Or question like, why do native speakers not easily understand our modern students because real spoken English is defined as a true casual everyday spoken English used by the native speakers in the UK in the United States of America and other English speaking countries and in that language in that English idioms and the slangs are often used in every conversation in real conversation they rarely find the full formal and complete sentences why I say rarely? Because native speakers almost never use complete sentences. They speak in partial sentences. They interrupt each other. They change thoughts in the middle of speaking or middle of sentence. They use filler words constantly. Because real spoken pronunciation is also quite different, you know, than what students learn from, from the school or the textbooks. In normal conversation, native speakers tend to mash words together. But in schools, students learn a few standard contractions, but in fact, they create a huge number of non-standard contractions all the time. And furthermore, native speakers tend to connect some words together and cut the others shorter. And when they combine all of those differences, they get conversations that sound totally different than what students learn from schools or books. By real English conversation, it means that English is actually spoken by average native speakers in their day-to-day -day, uh, lives, we can say. And by this definition, the CNN, the BBCs, they are not the real English conversation. If, you, if people think that those two TV stations are the good source to learn to speak real English, but in fact it's not. In fact, an announcer reading a teleprompter is not a conversation at all. Yes, there is nothing wrong, you know, with CNN or the BBC, but that style of English is not the style that is used in homes, in offices, on the street, and in everyday life. So, you see, we have two worlds in English conversation learning, the school world and the real world. Unfortunately, the school world is nothing like real world. In school world of English conversation, the students study books of, or books full of grammar rules, I can say, or books full of individual vocabulary words. Students here learn rules as, you know, maybe never use the sentence fragment. They avoid run-on sentences. 
They never begin a sentence with, for example, and, and so on and so forth. Yet in the real world, native English speakers do all of the, the things that I've mentioned every day. They frequently speak in fragments. They frequently use long, you know, run-on sentences. They begin sentences with and, and sometimes they, uh, they end sentences with prepositions. And here is the ugly truth. English textbooks are written by old, clueless academics who have very little understanding of the real world. And likewise, most teachers are more interested in their own authority or position than in helping their students prepare for real English conversation. And so, you know, you see that students spend years in school, in language, private language centers, vainly learning English from textbooks. But result? It seems that they waste years taking tests and memorizing rules that are not real rules at all. See you next time. Bye. Self-study paketi barədə ətraflı məlumat əldə etmək üçün bizə müraciət edin.